Welcome to the Gallery TV News at 12. I am Onye Ede, and here is the news for the day. Panic in NYSC headquarters comes as resident officer dies of COVID-19. There was panic among staff of the National Youth Service Corps on Tuesday after a resident officer died of COVID-19. It was gathered that the top officer was posted to the permanent orientation camp in Kano a few days ago where he developed coronavirus symptoms and died on Tuesday. Following his death, workers of the NYSC in Abuja and orientation camps, particularly in Kano, had been gripped by fear of contracting COVID-19. Recall that the Economic Sustainability Committee, led by Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, had in June last year called on the federal government to consider suspending the NYSC orientation camp exercises for two years. But on January 16th, Saturday precisely, it was reported that the federal government snubbed the recommendation by reopening orientation camps nationwide amid rising COVID-19 infections. Since the camps were reopened, many COPS members have tested positive for COVID-19. For example, at the Cross River NYC camp, 13 COPS members were reported to have tested positive on January 25. We learned on Tuesday that the disease officer went to Kano State, where he represented the Director General of the NYC, Brigadier General Shuaibu Ibrahim. When contacted, NYC Deputy Director, Press and Public Relations, Emeka Egbenemena, confirmed the death of the officer to us, but said he died outside the orientation camp. Still in COVID-19, COVID-19 vaccines, Nigeria to procure 80 million doses in 2021, says Fayemi. Chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, and Ekiti Governor, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, on Tuesday, revealed that about 80 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines would soon be available in the country to immunize 40% of the population this year. This, he said, was part of measures being put in place to stem the tide of the deadly virus this year, adding that another batch of 60 million doses would be expected to arrive in 2022. A statement by his chief press secretary, Olayin Kawiebode, in Adoikiti said, the governor made this known while delivering a paper titled The Role of Nigeria's State Government in Recovery, Responses to COVID-19, Linked Challenges, at the Chatham House Africa Program, moderated by Elizabeth Donnelly. Deputy Director and Research Fellow at Chatham House. In delivering the paper at the virtual conference held via Zoom, Fayemi was quoted as saying that the quantity of the vaccines being expected was released by the National Primary Health Care Development Agency at the meeting of the National Economic Council last week. He however said that beyond government procurement of vaccines, the NGF had remained a strong proponent of the use of public-private partnerships to procure the vaccines as a measure of closing the gap between what is available and what is necessary to achieve herd immunity. Now let's join Titelayo Olamide for the entertainment news. And now on entertainment news. Nigerian comedian Bucci accused neighbors of ganging up against wife and vandalizing a car. Popular Nigeria comedian Bucci has cleared the hair on a viral video which revealed his wife, Ruki Iside, being arrested by the men of the Nigerian police force. According to the online report, it was alleged that the comedian's wife was arrested for assault and vandalism. In the clip, the young woman can be seen first inside the police vehicle. It was reported earlier that, the, that she harassed the state security personnel and vandalized items which the estate charged are about 700,000 Naira. It was also gathered that she and her husband refused to pay the money, so the estate management cut their power supply to they paid for the damages but reconnected their power. Furthermore, a general meeting was called to resolve the issue, but, they, but it was to no avail which made the comedian leave their house. It was gathered and it was further alleged 
that the young lady took some talks to arouse the chairman of the estate. The police were invited and she was arrested. In the said video, the residents of the estate who recorded the arrest and identified her as Bushi's wife. Reacting to the allegation, Bushi said that the reporter her lies. He claimed that there was an altercation with the estate security because they beat his niece and his younger brother fought the estate security who harassed the niece. But she said in a quote, I would not want to go into it, but I would just want to say that all the allegations are lie. We had an altercation with the estate because one of the security men beat up my niece. And that's it on Entertainment News. I am Titulayo Olamide. And that's all we have for you at 12 on the Gallery TV News. Do join us at 4 for yet another. And do remember, do follow us via social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Gallery TV. Thanks for watching. I am Onyede. Bye for now. You can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out your withdrawal. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank.